Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome to Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel and welcome back to uh, Thornton Farm. This is our return to Thornton Farm series. This is episode number four. And uh, I've completed a week of, of releasing videos um, and feel very good about it. And we are just uh, here. Uh, I've got Smithy. Smithy is going to cart for me, and I'm going to drive the class uh, combine, and we are going to harvest our first field of this of this brand new series, field number 11, which is planted in barley, which is available to harvest right now. Because, as I had said before, um, we are in dire need of straw. I am going to go ahead and uh, send Smithy on his way to the tractor waypoint there. He does not need that course play window put up. And so we will just jump out. He is gone. We will come over to our class uh, combine. We've been fueling up tractors and combines this morning. And uh, let me just top this guy off and we will get started with our, with our activities. I hope everyone is having a wonderful, wonderful day. Um, I have had a wonderful week, and the week has come around again, and or the weekend has almost come around again, I should say. Uh, I'm recording this particular episode early on Friday morning, and um, just enjoying, uh, enjoying this map, enjoying the time that I'm spending with each and every one of you, interacting with you in the chat. You guys have been just uh, incredible at... Um, just incredible at uh, leaving messages uh, on the videos and such as that and I'm just very 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 appreciative of all of that so let me just get this guy fired up here we hope that he is leaving a swath and I think that he will be nope he is not so we can fix that I've got a question for some of you uh, some of you that are a little smarter than me and by the way uh, rubber burner gaming uh, rubber burner answered the question that I had asked in video number um, <clears throat> video number two um, let's see is this this actually might be episode number number five my, my apologies um, I think this is episode number five even though my notes say four but I think I think rubber burner answered the question back in episode um, um, two or three about the um, about the uh, herbicide uh, whether whether running the mechanical weeder or just spraying herbicide or doing the two together have any impact at all whatsoever to the yield of the field and rubber burner answered the question basically it doesn't matter um, obviously running the mechanical weeder when you can in the first first growth stage of the weed itself will uh, save on herbicide so herbicide obviously is an expensive product that um, that we that we can't make naturally unless unless there's a mod or something out there that allows you to to uh, to do something like that but I'm not aware of one if there is and um, and so herbicide is expensive because you have to buy it and therefore um, that would lower that cost now I guess I suppose you would then weigh in the labor cost of labor whether it, you know you're doing it yourself or you're paying a, a worker to do it and then of course the cost of diesel to run the, the tractor to pull the mechanical weeder versus just spraying herbicide on the entire field um, or you know, spraying it where it is needed uh, with the weeds that are growing and of course the, uh, the wear and tear and such as that on uh, on the equipment Let's, uh, let's lift the header. I've got some got some new programmed buttons on my uh, on my on my steering wheel that I have been playing around with. Um, I finally, after all these years of playing farm sim, um, I finally taken advantage of programming more buttons on my wheels to do things. And it's really just a matter of trying to remember which button does what. Um, I suppose. A smart guy might uh, might actually label the buttons and um, 
that way I kind of know, but I've got a button right now to set my cruise control. I've got a button to lift and raise the, uh, uh, the header of the combine or any, any item that's, that's you know, being pulled by a tractor or whatever that needs to be lifted. So we will just cut us a, uh, a, headline, a headland around here. Now, <clears throat> I'm driving the, the combine um, myself, obviously, not using course play, but we do have course play installed and we will use course play. We use course play, um, I think, pretty much all the different versions of Farm Sim that I have played, even going back to Farm Sim 15, who had course play. Um, available to use and uh, quite quite enjoy it and of course uh, Smithy uh, the role of Smithy is being handled by um, by auto drive and I don't know if you all know this I I'm sure some of you I'm sure some of you do um, but there is a um, he is called the auto drive guy and he has a YouTube channel and he creates auto drive networks for the popular maps that are that are out there and, and thankfully Thornton Farm is one of those that is considered to be considered to be popular and he has created an auto drive network that is really um, really pretty incredible and I'm going to uh, I'm going to back up here and I'm going to open my pipe up and I'm going to lift up my header and scooch over just a little bit so he's got plenty of room to come around and empty us hopefully he will uh, he will do that and i have found through uh we'll go ahead and turn that off and he is coming across our barley there but that's okay we'll just pretend like we don't see smithy driving across the barley by the way um someone left a comment i can't remember it might have been ak left a comment about uh, about Smithy and about the fact that uh, he needs to be careful because sometimes they like to sometimes they like to drive and Smithy is obviously having some struggle struggles there because uh, of that tree which I think that we'll probably have to sort Smithy out um, I think it was AK that that left a message that said that Smithy needs to be careful because if he's if he's not careful if he doesn't if he doesn't shape up um, he may get shipped out because Abner may may replace his his job and that could be true although um, although we like Smithy as we said we, we like him and we put up with a lot because uh, because we can I suppose and because he's just a very likable guy. And we'll see if he can. Uh, we'll see if he can sort himself out. If not, we will. We will help him. And I see he has flipped over. Um, oh boy. Um, the joys of the joys of AI and in farm sim, right? I mean, these are these are things that um, <laughs> these are things that we have been putting up with all these little. Uh, quirks, whether it be um, auto combine back in some of the older versions of, uh, of a farming simulator. I think auto combine was something that we used in 15 and 17. I don't think it made its way to. Uh, I don't think it's. I don't think it made its way to 19 because I think the the gentleman that that created uh, that particular mod uh, went on to doing other things. And let's see, he's got the trailer. He's got the trailer back up. I tell you what, let me just, uh, all right. Well, you didn't see any of that because I had to end up using uh, super strength to basically pull him off that hedge. The interesting thing on this map, I don't know if anyone is playing this uh, on Farm Sim 22, is this map, uh, obviously the hedges, some of the hedges um, have uh, have barbed wire, barb wire fencing running through the hedge, and as a result, um, that has collisions on it. And so most of the other hedges don't have collisions, and so they can just kind of run through them if uh, if need be. But anyway, I was talking about Auto Drive Guy, and I've got a link to Auto Drive Guy's video for this particular map. So if you go out to my mod spreadsheet. Go to grizzlybearsims.com again. That's grizzlybearsims.com, and then click on uh, I think it's information, and then look at my add-on mods and add-on spreadsheet. And go to the FS22 tab. Uh, I 
I've got various tabs set up um, there for uh, the, the simulation based games that I play. So you will see uh, one for uh, Farm Sim 22. You'll see uh, my spreadsheet that I use to track all the add ons that I use for uh, Microsoft Flight Simulator, uh, P3D. ETS, ETS2, etc. But uh, if you look at that, then you'll see uh, you'll see that uh, I've got maps uh, listed. I've got the mods listed, but I've also got the the link to this particular video that AutoDrive created for Thornton Farm, or I should say Thornton Farm Revisited, which is the, the uh, correct name for this particular map since it is a kind of a redo. All right. Well, I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. We're going to, uh, this might actually end up being somewhat of a, of a short video because I think what we'll do in this video, I believe, is get it harvested. And then for the next video, I'll come back and we will uh, bell the straw, put the straw away, and then, uh, then decide what else that we've got to do within the farm enterprise to, uh, to keep everything going. But I was just going to say, regarding auto drive, um, there are there are things. And this is a question for for you all to, to answer um, in the comment section. Are there are there characteristics um, with the older versions of this game, a farming simulator, so like 15, 17, 19, 22, uh, et cetera, that you that you miss in the new version? And, and, 22. Are there are there characteristics about uh, 15, 17, 19 that you miss in Farm Sim 22? For me, I would say, um, you know, Auto Drive is something that I just literally began using out of out of need because I like to be able to have um, I like to be able to have uh, these. Uh, these other things going on in the farm. I like to have uh, the carting and um, whether it's uh, selling, selling up goods or whatever. I like to be able to, to do that via uh, course play. And obviously, course play initially you know, came out with very limited features. I still don't think to this day, and I believe I'm running a slightly older version. Oops, I am full. So let's call him over here, and hopefully he'll do a better job this time of collecting us. And then he'll have to go—he'll have to go empty because he's setting at 78% himself. But um, I um, obviously, when Course Play first released for Farm Sim 22, it had limited features, and um, um, and I still—I think I'm running a version behind or two versions behind. But I still think that you know, obviously, if you want to do the carting from the field unless unless there's something that I'm just missing um, that's got to be done via auto drive you can't do the you can't do the courses um, or at least I don't think you can do the courses in course play like we could before where you would set up routes uh, from the field to your um, to your silo fill point and from the silo um, fill point to a store uh, to sell or something like that uh, but uh, hey with these with these really good auto drive maps for the for the popular maps anyways um, then that's that is really becomes a moot point because we've got auto drive to use but anyway um, are there characteristics are there things that you miss about uh, some of these older versions of farming simulator that don't exist in in the new things and i would say obviously probably one of the one of the top ones for those of us that that go back to the farm sim 15 days would obviously be soil mod now of course um they have giants has have incorporated uh, some of those some of those characteristics and features and everything into the precision farming uh, add-on and it does obviously go a long ways towards um, towards making the immersion levels and everything a little bit a little bit better. Um, you know, I think that we were all so pleased when uh, when Willismus uh, modding created seasons, and we're gonna we're gonna fill up again before he 
before he gets back uh, here. But we were all so excited when uh, Seasons came out for Farm Sim 17 that, um, you know, it was it was an OK. It was the sacrifice of not having soil mod in Farm Sim 17 was OK because we had Seasons. And then, of course, we had Seasons in 19 uh, as a mod as well. But then when it got incorporated into into but in the 22 then we started seeing the enhancements with precision farming but but really and truthfully um yeah we uh we really miss out on i or i believe we really miss out on some of those uh, some of those features let's see what else um we are like i said i think we're going to make this a relatively short video probably in the 20 minutes or so because it's going to take him it's going to take him some time to, to get back. And unfortunately, I don't, um, if I had my, uh, if I had my choice, um, and I'm using this map, I've, or this auto drive network, I've only made a couple of small tweaks to it um, that I found was necessary just to get around one particular corner at a gate that needed to make it a little bit wider. Um, but unfortunately, he runs through the, the dairy barn so I have to keep that that gate open um, just while he is carting from this field over there. But I have had in when I went through the first, obviously, like August um, and September harvesting and maybe even October harvesting uh, off camera before I started recording videos on this on this map in this series. I was obviously using um, this auto drive network and it works really, really well very very few problems and I think that this issue we had over here with this fence was just self-inflicted because what I should have done is I should have uh, I should have went ahead and emptied a little bit early probably when we passed uh, passed him over here went ahead and emptied and then that way we would have had enough room enough capacity to get around and you kind of you still have to do some of these things to help your AI out Kind of have to uh, to do that. Otherwise, you're going to have those kind of little snags, those little quirks, and everything um, that is happening. So he is uh, he is now empty, and hopefully he will come back here in due time. The coffee this morning is good. Um, it is early on Friday morning. I woke up about five o'clock and uh, got my coffee made and then um, came downstairs, fired up the gaming machine, checked and looked to see if uh, there were any mods uh, that needed to be updated. There were none. Uh, so uh, all that was good to go and swung around. I, I'm still kind of sitting in the same setup that I had. Uh, a year or two ago as I was making videos. I've got my gaming PC um, kind of on this L-shaped desk and then behind me I've got another desk that I have uh, my laptop on and so I can look at I can look at Discord, I can look at uh, YouTube. I try to I try to keep um, my gaming machine as free of the internet as possible just because like for example when I download mods I always download mods onto my laptop first and then I transfer them over either with an external drive or uh, I've got obviously a share folder on uh, on like Google uh, that I can upload to and then download on the other machine. Just that way I'm trying to protect it as much as possible from you know malware or anything like that. Here he comes. I see him coming around the bend. Um, but uh, I looked to see that it looks like uh, Fury Machine Gaming, and I have not watched this yet, Jim, uh, because you just released it in the middle of the night, and I literally, just as I was about to click um, to start to record, I also glanced at YouTube, and I saw that you released a new series. It looks like Fury Machine Gaming uh, has started a new series. The video is called A New Start, FS22 Pig Empire on Bornheath, episode number one. So go and check out um, Fury Machine Gaming's brand new series on the Bornheath map. And I will be doing that um, 
just as soon as I get this video wrapped up. And if um, Smithy will spin that tractor on around, then we will obviously get uh, get this guy unloaded and um, probably get the rest of this field done. But it is good to have the straw finally. Um, you know, we could not really justify, um, or at least I didn't want to justify sending sending Smithy back to to Calmsden for another load of straw because obviously when I when I collected straw last year, of course we're coming up on harvest at Calmsden as well, um, but when I collected straw last year uh, to put up for the year at, at, at Calmsden, obviously I factored in um, having a little bit available to sell to local farmers uh, that might need it. And, but I did not factor in having to support um, having to support Thornton Farm as well. So that has been something that, um, you know, going back for those uh, five or six bells like Smithy did a couple of episodes ago, that was uh, that was kind of an unplanned uh, that was kind of an unplanned uh, uh, thing. So obviously we've got straw now. It's just a matter of getting it off the ground, getting in, into the barn. We have a wheat field as well that we have yet to harvest so that will be coming available um, in July to be able to harvest wheat July or August I think um, but this will definitely give us enough straw in the barn for the cows and the pigs and everything else that uh, that takes the straw to um, to get us on down the road a couple of weeks at least and then we will, then we will go from there um, let me go ahead and start wrapping things up. I wanted to read out some shout outs to you all. Uh, these are folks that have posted comments in the previous videos and my video numbering system is a bit off. Again, I think this is episode number five that you're watching. You'll be seeing this episode on Monday. And uh, shout out to Chris Webb for leaving a comment. Also, AK has been active in uh, in my, in my comments. Uh, he has been going back through my back catalog of videos and watching some of my older videos and leaving comments and asking some questions because uh, AK um, has been a, a long time viewer of the channel but wasn't uh, wasn't on board for some of the earlier versions of farm sim like 15 and 17 that I produce videos uh, from and then got a really big surprise I've got to say a really really big surprise comment left by Mrs. Atomic Yes, this would be Mrs. Eustace Farmer, uh, who left a comment thanking me for the kind words that I said about EP, and you don't need to thank me. Um, those are straight from the heart. It's just, um, you know, we're still, we still miss him. I know, I know you, uh, the, the kids miss him, obviously, um, but uh, no need to thank me for the kind words. Uh, just EP was an incredible man. Uh, his memory will live on uh, in our minds and our hearts of those who truly knew him. Uh, Jonathan Mayberry. Jonathan Mayberry has been a relatively longtime viewer of the channel. Uh, he commented, Ca uh, Callum Dunn. Uh, hello, Callum. Thanks for leaving a comment. Callum uh, plays on console but also watches my channel. So I think he uh, left the comment on the video that I was talking about the zero turn mower and I said I wasn't sure if it was for uh, I wasn't sure if it was for console although it is um, I said that you know most of the folks I think that watch my videos are PC but he chimed in and said nope he plays on console and plays along on this map along with me and enjoys the content and enjoys uh, what I put out so thank you Callum. Uh, Rubber Burner Gaming a longtime friend of mine uh, Rubber Burner and I go back um, a number of years to uh, probably the the 17 Farm Sim 17 days. Um, he and I uh, I ran a virtual trucking company for ATS and ETS2 oh about five years ago or so, and Rubber Burner was a member of that, and then he and I just uh, become friends. And of course, Rubber Burner um, has his own YouTube channel. I don't think he's put out content recently, but he is uh, an avid modder. Uh, he has created uh, lots of mods, and of course, Rubber Burner was hosting those mods on simplysafemods.com. And I probably need to talk about that um, 
and I will endeavor to do that on the next video kind of um, let you all know what happened with simply safe mods and what led to my decision decision to shut that mod site down um, and I will I will do that uh, I will do that try to do that on the next video and um, let's see I think that's everything that's uh, got all my notes ticked off there um, it is 26 minutes according to the uh, timer on OBS but I'm pretty sure that uh, I'm pretty sure that I've got some edits to make which will take out a little bit of time but it'll still be close to close to 30 minutes uh, of course the one thing with auto drive is I need to come up a little bit further from him and then open my pipe and then he'll hopefully he'll just simply drive forward and not, uh, not go all out of the way and get hung up on another another uh, hedgerow but anyway Thank you again for watching. I do appreciate it. I think, um, I think, I think, I think, I think settling into a, a three day, uh, potentially three, three episode a week, um, schedule is going to work out well for me Monday, Wednesday, Friday. That's what I'm going to shoot for. That gives me time to do the things that I need to do, play some of my other games that I don't put on the channel. And then also it gives you time to consume the videos because if I put out just whole bunch of videos you guys don't have time to watch them um, then that just um, that just doesn't uh, just doesn't work out for any of us you or for me so um, again thanks for watching I do appreciate it and we'll try to uh, um, try to do a better job next time with auto uh, with auto drive and uh, fences and stuff like that but until then Take good care of yourself and also of each other and um, come back for another video here on Grizzly Bear Sims YouTube channel very soon. Bye for now.